back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today we're going to talk about how to use a calculated field in a pivot table. Our data set has region, product, customer, quantity, revenue, cost of goods sold, and profit. And I've created a simple pivot table that shows me those fields, quantity, revenue, and profit. Now, if I need to add a calculation to the pivot table, we can do that using the pivot table toolbar, the pivot table dropdown, go to formulas and say calculated field, give the field a name. You can't use any spaces, so I'll just have to use average price. And for the formula, the formula is the revenue field divided by the quantity field. I can click add. And then let's say I wanted to add another calculated field, perhaps GP gross profit percent, which is going to be the profit field divided by the revenue field. Click add, click OK. Now you'll see that those two new fields have been added to the pivot table. The only problem we have is the name of the field, sum of average price. This isn't a sum of anything. It's actually the average price or it's the average of the sums. That sum of name is something that Excel adds in. If you want to change it, you have to select the field and then in the pivot table toolbar, click the field settings button where you can change sum of average price to be, you know, something like uh, AVG price or something. We're not allowed to use average price because we already defined that in the calculated field. So average price, there we go. Change this one to maybe GP percent. Click OK. And we have the data. Calculated fields, they work great in pivot tables. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.